Hi Extension, this is Allison Link, and I'm going to show you quickly how to add closed captions to your YouTube videos. Now one important thing to remember is that the YouTube interface changes pretty much constantly. It is a huge moving target, so depending on when you're accessing this video and where YouTube's at, the interface might look a little different from what you're seeing here, but the principles will be more or less the same, alright? So just be a little tolerant if YouTube looks a little different when you actually go in to edit your captions, but most of the functionality should still be there. One big question, why should you closed caption your videos? Well, I think a lot of you have a pretty good idea of um, closed captions as being a really important part of ensuring accessibility for a lot of different audiences. You might think of first of hard of hearing or hearing impaired audiences, so that's a huge thing. You need to closed caption your video so that hearing impaired audiences um, can have access to the content in your video. But another important part is um, English language learners, for example, might choose to turn on captions when they're viewing your video just to make it a little easier to understand. Um, and also, if you're lucky enough for people uh, to be interested in your video and want to play it in a sports bar one day, closed captions are a huge thing in sports bars these days. So, uh, you know, just in case, um, prepare your videos with closed captions. Now, the good news is that when you make a video, YouTube will automatically try to auto-caption your video. Um, it's pretty cool advanced technology that Google's got uh, recognizing your voice and will add some automatic captions. The bad news is that auto-captions are actually pretty awkward captions. So remember, auto-caption is actually awkward captions. And we're going to need to go and edit them to make them a little less clunky. Um, so YouTube's voice recognition is not perfect, but it's a good place to start and you can edit the captions from there. So to go in and start editing captions in YouTube, click up in the upper right hand corner when you're logged in and head into your video manager. So I'm just going to go in there and that's where you'll see a list of all the videos you have access to. Now I just went ahead and uploaded a video pretty recently and you'll want to give your video, once you've uploaded it, about a day to churn so that YouTube can generate auto captions. So you can't actually add captions within the first day or so of uploading. It takes a little while for YouTube to process and add the auto captions so that you can actually go back and edit them and have something to work with. So go ahead, I uploaded this a couple days ago, so I should be able to click into it. Oops, sorry. Don't actually click the link to the video. Click this edit button here. And that will take you to all the different editing options you have for your video. And once we're in there, you'll see I can do a whole bunch of things. The one we're focusing on here is subtitles and closed captions. I'm going to click the subtitles and closed caption tab. And I'm going to go ahead and select English as my video language, because video is obviously in English. And you'll see that, lo and behold, YouTube has automatically captioned my video. And if I play it, I should be able to see some of those captions automatically up there. You can turn them on. And you'll see them playing. Now, sometimes it's pretty decent, but especially if there are technical terms or things in your video, uh, these are not going to suffice. So, the general overview of what you want to do is make a copy of these captions, these auto captions, edit that copy that you've made, publish the copy, the new copy of the captions, and then unpublish the original auto caption version. All right, so right now, these are the published captions. You can tell that these automatic captions are going to be showing to the public by default. You don't really have control over that at first unless you turn them off but then you're going to have to go back and switch those out for better captions. All right, so I'm going to click into my auto captions here. And you'll see I have this awesome editing screen. This is something that YouTube added relatively recently in the last year or so. And again, it says that these auto captions are published, but I can click edit and I can start making revisions. So this is the editing interface you're going to want to use while you're making revisions. You can play and pause your video and it will break it up into chunks and you can edit each chunk of these to better better captions. So um, let's say um, hi extension. I I'm going to actually give extension a capital. Alright, so I'm just going to make a couple edits here. And then what I want to do is I want to save this. Alright, so I've saved it. And once I've made that edit, 
I'm also going to, when I'm finished, and I'm sure that all of my captions are as normal English as I want them to be, I'm going to hit publish. It'll take a little bit to churn. And now you'll see the, that I've actually got two versions of captions published. By default, the auto captions are still there. They haven't gone away. But my new edited version that's based on those auto captions is now also published. And if I want to go back and make any changes to those, I can still click back in and make changes and things. Oh, sorry, to make a change, you're going to actually have to hit this edit up here again. And I can make some changes again, not a problem. Make as many as I need. Save it again. And then just republish. So you can make as many changes as you need. Um, again, overwrite the existing subtitles for English. That'll just overwrite the old version that I had um, of my edited ones. And there they are. OK. Now what I want to do, now that I've got my actual English track that's improved because I know how to actually speak English better than Google does, I'm going to unpublish the auto captions. And the, that's the last thing you have to do. Just click this into here, go into Actions, and hit Unpublish. And then you'll notice that the English automatic captions no longer has a green light next to it, and only your new improved English captions are published. All right, so just one quick overview again. You upload a video. You have to wait a day or so for the auto captions to generate in YouTube. And once you've done that, you'll actually make a copy of them. You'll click into the auto captions, hit edit, and start editing. Edit the copy and then publish that new copy based on the auto captions, but it's improved. And once your new copy of the captions is published, then go and unpublish the auto captions so that only your new improved version of the captions is published. And that's all that people will see when they play your video. Then when they hit play, when they get the closed caption option in the corner here, they will only see your new and improved version that they can play. No embarrassing auto captions, no danger there. All right, thanks for listening. It's a pretty simple interface. Again, it may change. YouTube changes quite a bit, but the caption functionality in YouTube is pretty advanced um, and actually pretty simple. So there's really no reason not to do it. Um, your audiences will thank you.